day, good morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Um, so like, comment, subscribe. Um, I did just post a little short on um, some blushes. Uh, I'll show a little bit of my arm there. Um, as well as I'll go ahead and tell you which ones these are. So my top is the um, Bare Minerals. Um, and this one is the Kiss of Rose. It's the, their bronzer, so blush bronzer works really well nice on the face um i think that this color is just really nice on dark skin it looks so natural and um like this tone of like reddish color if you like that bronzer look these are some of the best products that will give you that look uh the next one is i have this charlotte tilbury um this is cheek to chick the walk of no shame and this is what that looks like. That's the second swatch. Um, this was the first swatch. And I will insert a picture probably at the end of my arm. Um, this is the Pat McGrath one. This is similar to the bronzer, except it is um, more of a matte instead of a uh, sparkle. So this is what that looks like. Um, and this one is the Paradise Glow. Um, and I, this is the, uh, third squat, swatch, um, here. Uh, and I think if I want to be more shiny, I need to add in that tan color. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Bare Minerals. And if I want to make it a bit more shiny, I need to add in this one a little bit more. But this one still isn't as glowy. This is more like a natural glow. Um, the, whereas these two have more of a like uh, shiny highlight type of glow. Yeah, that's like these two act as though they're your bronzer, um, excuse me, your blush, your bronzer and highlighter all in one. Whereas this one is just a um, blush bronzer. Um, and then the third one, I have this NARS. Um, and this one is in Savage. Very nice color very similar color this is the fourth color i have here the fourth swatch on my arm uh one two three four this one and then the fifth one is this fenty beauty one and it's the ginger binge in moscow mule um and i have this one as the majority of the swatch and this one is just at the bottom because this one is more highlighter-ish, whereas this one gives you that bronzer topper type look. Clearly, I'm a really big fan of this color. Um, again, it looks really nice on the skin. Um, I bought this Bare Minerals one um, this past summer, and this color is um, maybe Terra. Maybe Terra is the color. I, I'm not sure. I think so. Terra is the color. Um, this is really nice and it has the potential to be amazing. Um, it's a beautiful color. It looks really nice on dark skin. The issue I have with it is that it pulls up your like powder foundation or whatever it is underneath. So I've been using it. I, I keep playing around with it to see what I can do to make it work. But the reason why I'm not a huge fan of it and I'm not a fan of the Bare Minerals um, blushes in general is because they just pull up my powder foundation. Now, I did believe I used this over the summer and I mostly just used, um, I didn't have my, my, a lot of my makeup was packed away because I was moving and I used this one more and I would say that with just the foundation or very light makeup, it was okay. Or maybe I just didn't notice it. I'm not sure. Um, this is a brand that I got when I um, lived in China. This was actually the first of its kind, this color that I bought. This was the first one that I bought like this, this color. And it's really nice. It's in 09. If you're one of my Asian followers, um, you're in China or anywhere in Asia really, because uh, like Taobao, Jingdong, we use those kind of things over there. Um, you can pretty much get this uh, online or any of like the little makeup shops or whatever. Um, there's this Patrick Ta one that I have. I have it in Oh, She's Different. I'm, I'm um, not a huge fan of any of the Patrick Ta products I've purchased so far. Uh, it's a nice color. This one pulls up makeup underneath, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it either. Um, this is the LYS, and this color is kind of a combination of the two that I have here. Um, it's okay. Um, the, I don't like the closing part for this LYS because this magnet keeps coming out, so I have to keep putting it back in. Um, but this is my uh, cream one, and when I have my swatches, I'll label them because I labeled them um, cream versus powder. I, I did all my powders first and then labeled the cream. Um, see, this is having difficulty closing, which is interesting because... Um, I remember seeing on YouTube some people having issues with it. I never had any issues until recently with it having issues with closing. So that's really weird. Um, and it's only this one. This one's okay. Oh, sorry. This one is the color in um, Confident. And then this one is in um, Empower. Empower. Um, and this is what this one looks like. 
and um, actually, let me go ahead and put these two together. So this one's confident, yeah. Com no, sorry, this one's empower, and the one on the bottom is confident. So they look very close to each other because they're like, one is a slightly darker, but I um, wanted to show those together. Um, and then the last two swatches that I have are my um, nude stick and the Charlotte Tilbury um, wand. This one's very popular. The, um, this one is in pink gasm and then the nude stick it's in, um, tropez. So those are all of them. I showed you the inside. I told you the names of them. Um, but I'm going to try to get a quick view of my arm and insert it there. I would say if I want that bronzer, including highlight look all, like, all together, I would say, um, this one's my number one. Um, oh, I really like the formula for my Pat McGrath one. Um, I love the Charlotte Tilbury one. I used to wear this one all the time. These are like my number one and then my number two. I would say my Fenty and Pat McGrath are both my number three, followed strongly by my NARS as my number four. Um, yeah, so those are my favorites. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.